In this month's guide to the best SLRs on the market, I'll be taking a look at Pentax's latest release, the K5. At present, the body only is around £1,000, putting it at the top of the enthusiast range. If you're familiar with the K7, then you'll notice that the body of the K5 is very similar. In fact, it's almost identical, apart from a few changes to the logos and graphics. The main construction also remains the same, with the stainless steel chassis and magnesium alloy shell, which gives the camera a good solid feel. To help protect against the elements, the camera includes a variety of weather seals to shield the inner workings from adverse conditions. Size, weight and usability remain much the same as the K7, which is a competent camera, but at the time of its review, it was a little expensive compared with its competitors. The K5 will now go head-to-head -head with the Nikon D300S and Canon 7D, both of which are similar in price and features. The K5 is very easy to use. Pentax has designed a layout that makes shooting intuitive and easy. One feature that really stands out and differs from other manufacturers is the mode dial, which includes two additional options, SV, which controls sensitivity value, so you can select the ISO and let the camera handle the aperture and shutter speed, and TAV, where you set the shutter and aperture and the camera sets the ISO. Another handy feature is the one-shot RAW button on the front left of the camera. So if you're shooting JPEG images and want to take a quick RAW image, you can use this button for a single RAW shot instead of digging through the menus. On the back is the 3-inch LCD, which as you'd expect is live view enabled and reproduces the images with good colour and clarity. In use, one feature that really stands out is the zoom in live view, which works when using either face detection or contrast AF. This zooms into the point of focus as the shutter button is half pressed, so you can see if the camera has focused or not. You also have the option to switch to phase difference AF while using live view. When the mode is selected, live view switches off when the shutter button is half depressed, and then switches back on after the AF system has focused. This system works quickly and gets around the usual contrast detection focusing issues when live view is used. The LCD also displays an electronic level which is handy for checking horizons. Looking over the body, especially the back, you notice that there are buttons everywhere and although this won't be to everyone's taste, it means that most settings and features are just one touch away. So coming to the new features, and the biggest update has to be the new 16.3 megapixel sensor, which has a native sensitivity of between ISO 100 and 12,800 and can be extended from 80 to 51,200. Continuous shooting speeds have also increased from 5.2 to 7 frames per second, which is a handy upgrade for sports and wildlife. Of course, this extra speed wouldn't amount to much without an improved autofocus, and Pentax updated this with its new SA-FOX-AF system, which is not only faster, but also provides a wider coverage. The video feature has also been updated and brought into line with competitors, so rather than the 4.3 format used by the K7, the K5 now records video at standard 1080p HD. As before, there's a stereo input for an external microphone. The K5 is a fully featured camera, which has some great features, and is ultimately very easy to use and capable of producing good quality images. As an upgrade to the K7, the small jump in pixel count isn't really enough to make this a must-have purchase, but feature-wise and image quality do make this a good choice. For more details on the Pentax K5, read Matt Golazinski's definitive review in the magazine.